Hi there guys! I just wanted to say first and foremost happy holidays from my family to yours. It is Christmas Eve and getting excited for the day. I am the owner of AwesomeArtSchool.com. My name is Karen Campbell. If you don't know who I am already, um, I also wrote this series How to Draw Fun Fab Faces available on Amazon as well as for The Colorful Teacher this project today i am really excited to show you i did it in my latest uh, art journal <clears throat> that i've been working on all of um, these projects you can find on youtube today i found this cool um this cool image from on pinterest when there's my little pinterest link you can just search uh karen campbell artist um it's this fashion illustration on toned paper and i love drawing on toned paper <laughs> so these are some of my past projects that i've done in probably the last six months or so um and i really do love it i just love it. it's simple it's easy and so today i saw that and i thought i'd give this one a shot um, but because I'm working in my art journal, I had to kind of figure out a way to bring tone paper in. So, and I usually always start off with collage. So I literally am just ripping up, um, a Kroger, a Kroger's grocery bag. And I'm actually using spray adhesive, um, to get these down because one, it's quick because these are large, it's a very large journal and these are large swaths of paper bag so I'm using the spray adhesive because it goes by really quick you guys know how <laughs> how lazy and impatient I am so like the quicker the better in all my projects always always uh, I think I did this entire project in 33 minutes which is about the time I had alone today or yesterday so yeah quick and dirty that's my game so just putting these on a spray adhesive um, is gross I'm not gonna lie I get all over my hands and I have to go all the way outside to spray it and then run back inside shut my door so the cat doesn't get out and adhere it on so it's not my favorite i don't use it very often but it does like serve a very definitive purpose which is it's strong and permanent and i'm ready to draw right on the grocery bag toned paper and there's no medians in the way so this is actually just gray gesso that liquitex cells i grabbed it because i didn't even know it existed and um i don't love it it's very transparent and not like the black gesso which is like solid 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 um here is a stamp i'm using after that gesso was dry just to give it some interest i don't really you know i wanted to just not have a boring background that that didn't show up like super super dramatically or anything um this stamp i love i just got it from stampington and company as part of my um, last article that was published in there that was my reward um and then i wanted to kind of edge this up so i'm just dragging the pant the ink the uh, ink stamp pad there just i'm just dragging it around and i like that it picked up on the colors that i already had so <clears throat> When I was recently at the North Carolina Museum of Art, um, I was somehow got roped into sketching all of these uh, gorgeous people live with my friend Claudia Finelli. And it really put me on the spot. I had, we had no time. I didn't know that's what we were going to be doing. And so I just started drawing people straight up with Sharpie, like no pencils, no time for erasing. And that's sort of what I'm trying to go for here. Um, sometimes you gotta just go for it and so rather than sketching it with a pencil and erasing and spend a lot of time because i had no time i just grabbed my that's a china marker um which i use a lot of time for my toned paper drawings um if you hear that scratching that's my cat trying to burst into this room <laughs> um so after i laid down a little light layer um i went ahead and just grabbed my sharpie like i was doing at uh, that show and just drawing in some lines now i don't i think i actually grabbed a sharpie that didn't have a lot of ink left in it so it wasn't showing up very strongly um i'm also trying to tweak a little bit the features so they're not like exactly i hate copying verbatim it's or verb visual i don't know what the right word is i do always try to make certain things myself so my friend claudia and i before that show we picked up these ginormous or literally magnum sharpies uh at ac Moore, which are like ludicrously large and in charge um and i just had to cry. i just had to try it again so i really was trying to like capture my inner uh my inner 
show drawing spirit that we had that night we 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 rattled off a whole bunch of fashion drawings based on real people in real time um and that kind of bravery it, it it, it sucks a lot of life out of you, but it is very exciting and very cool. So trying to do that here a little bit less successfully, I think. Um, but again, using my reference, um, I am trying to draw what I see. It was bumming me out that I had to copy it so carefully, but the work of art was just really abstract and crazy and a lot of lines were missing, right? Um, there's a lot that's just left up to the toned paper. So it was a good exercise in drawing what I see. Again, it's my art journal. I can do whatever I want in there, um, including copying for reference. And so that's how, this is how I learn. Exactly right here what you see. I'm drawing, I'm sharpening up my drawing skills. I'm sharpening up my observational skills. Um, I'm playing with different line sort of characteristics and expressions based on what other people are doing. Um, and it's just a great way to exercise that out. And um, obviously I got my white Sharpie and I'm splashing in some highlights. So I definitely didn't want to do the exact same, the exact same color. So I grabbed like a big old fat paint marker. Um, it's just, I got this at Donna Downey Studios a bunch of years ago actually. And it's just a giant nib filled with pink acrylic paint. Um, so it's like the pink version of that Magnum Sharpie bait basically. Um, and I'm just putting some pink around the edges, just like you see them um, in the picture. And then I'm also going back with my Magnum again. And I, this one was, th I didn't love this project, I have to say. Um, it was very out of my comfort zone. Um, I had more fun when I just let loose and I like grabbed that big Sharpie and I was just squiggling about, right? I forgot she had a hand, so I just <laughs> quickly thought I'd, you know, add that in there. Um, but yeah, this was this was a little bit stressful for me. I was like I said, I was out of my comfort zone. Um, I don't normally use this sort of expressive style. I love it, and it was definitely freeing. And I had a, I did have a blast when I just kind of was like, screw it. I'm just I'm just gonna scribble down some lines like wee. And the more I let loose, that is when I'm having the most fun. And I just, just stopped caring. I actually wasn't even gonna film this, or I did film it. And I actually wasn't even gonna publish it. But I had some wonderful ladies in my Facebook group, which is called um, Awesome Art School with Karen Campbell, and and um, I yeah. Sorry, I got distracted. Can you please go away? I'm filming a video. Sorry, children, children in the house. And um, yeah, so I had those wonderful ladies who were requesting to see my process. So this is for you, you guys. Um, I do kind of love that swatch of white. That's also, oh, and so those expressive lines are so fun. And that's where my fun kind of came in. But that white is the same as that other big uh, pink marker, but that one was a white marker. So I thought she needed a little bit more interest. Again, you can't have a mixed media project without a stencil. It's just like a rule. You have to stencil and stamp or else like it doesn't even qualify as mixed media. But I do love those white dots kind of uh, matches the the white of uh, the other expressive lines in there. And so yeah, there she is. I did seal everything with Mod Podge because I only had that, adhe that adhesive on the underside of um, of the cardboard paper, the cardboard paper, the paper bag. So I wanted to make sure that everything was like sealed down. So in 20 years, you know, nothing is moved. And then I never show this step, um, not this step. This is me just running that ink pad around the, you know, perimeter of my paper. But I always seal all of my pages with that Americana um, acrylic spray. And I love it. And that's how I get to, um, be able to close my journal and open it again without the pages sticking together. So that's a huge important step that I normally don't show ever because it's just boring and I do it actually sometimes a couple days later. But here is the finished project. You can see the stamps in the background, um, the highlights on her face and throughout her body, those swishy, squaggly, expressive lines. Um, I did have a blast. It was fast and furious, and I hope you got something out of watching this process. Um, and thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe if you like these sorts of videos and share with your friends. Um, but most importantly, you guys have a very happy holiday season. I love ya.
Thanks for watching.